five eight one be pretty. <laughs> so guys, just finished doing a little band work. I'm getting older now. My body doesn't function like it should. So I always start out with some type of band stretching um, and just getting the synovial fluid moving around in the joints. But now we're gonna move on to our first lift, which is a straight arm lat pull down. In the straight arm lat pull down, what I wanna show you is a full lengthening with a contraction. So the full lengthening of this movement is here. As you stand up, that's the contraction. So lengthen, contract. And we're gonna do just a couple rounds of that just to get warmed up and get that lat, that back muscle used to the stretch and the contraction before we move on to the heavier lifts. called a Pimley row. It's probably one of my favorite exercises to adding total mass to your back. It's not a bent over row. A bent over row, you're doing it at a 45, and all you're doing is rowing right here. A Pimley row, you're actually on a box, and you're going all the way down. Keep your back flat, going all the way down, and rolling up. So keep a bend in your knee, and you're gonna row this bar literally to your waist. So it's right here. So we're gonna get in these working sets and show you how to do a Pimley row. Back movement number three, just doing a wide grip lat pull down. One of the core staples in a back routine. With this, all you're doing is you're controlling your elbow. You're gonna let that lat extend, and as you row, pull that elbow down and tight. And you should be able to do that movement without any weight. You feel a stretch and a contraction. And you do that movement without weight first, and see what it feels like. All right, now that it feels like, I'm gonna move on to the weight side and actually perform the movement. getting a lot of stretch because as you're here, that lat is an extreme like elongated and it, the weight is actually pulling that thing down. And the key to where most people screw up on a lat pull down is they row here, all right? Not only is that putting your shoulder in a bunched up compromised position, look what your elbow is doing. You're using nothing but bicep right there. So what I want you to do, start here, and 
grow to your waist. Alright? So just like you're just like you're rowing a lawnmower, like you're cranking crank a lawnmower. It's here. By doing that, you're driving the elbow back. And that's gonna engage your lat muscle. It's gonna take your arm out of the movement, it's gonna take your shoulder out of the movement, and you're using more lat. Let it hang naturally, and you want your back to be as close to parallel as possible. So we did a lot for the lat and the lower lat. Um, really kind of those wings you see poke out under the shoulder. But I don't have a name for this, other than I call it like a motorcycle row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on that mid to upper back. So I'll just get a lightweight here and demonstrate. So you can see I'm sitting really low. My hand place is really high. So of course you're gonna do this with two hands, but I'm gonna demonstrate. When you row this, most of the time you're working your lat, your elbow's tucked, because that's how you pull in your lat. But since we're working that mid to upper back, grip it wide, keep that elbow high. So you're not squeezing the lat. You're gonna be sque squeezing your trap, rear delt, and the bottom part of that trap. So it's up here. And if you do that right, you'll feel like literally the top third of your back from your shoulder, trap, top of your lat, like you'll feel all that working if you do it right. So just remember, keep this elbow in line with your shoulder as much as possible, all right? As always, stretch it out there. Contract at the top. You're gonna feel all that rear delt and strap squeeze back here. So as a pull workout, we're working the entire posterior of the upper body. Last thing we're gonna do tonight is a simple rear delt fly. So we're working the back posterior part of the delt muscle. So the key here, guys, your lat muscle is a huge muscle. Your trap muscle is extremely strong. The rear delt is very small, all right? So you really have to put your mind in the muscle and contract that muscle and that muscle alone. So when you're doing it, once again, keep your elbow high. All right, and squeeze through your pinky and just feel that rear delt contract. Do it with air about four or five times. Once you feel you've got a good mind-muscle connection on that rear delt, then go ahead and grab the weight and contract that rear delt. doing it right, you won't feel your trap, you won't feel your lat, you'll literally feel the posterior part of your deltoid, you'll feel it like literally give out on you. All right, such a small muscle, it dies in a hurry. So if you're concentrating on that muscle and doing this right, it'll go in a hurry. Guys, you've never done this before. So really, really concentrate on squeezing that muscle.